Indeed, Hamburg is not our first choice for the German trip, but we never regret visiting this city. Hamburg was our first destination of the two weeks German trip, as we would like to visit our friend. He always said Hamburg was really nice, cute, and what living city. But we thought in his perspective, you know, kind of home sweet home. It turned out that we are totally convinced. Hamburg is very clean. From the first impressions. Even though it's the second biggest city in Germany, it's not overwhelming as Max say. The second biggest city in France, everything seems to be in the right place, neat and clean. It brings the contemporary vibe harmonized with its old architecture. The historical buildings are cute with kind of unique strange design like the chili house which is reminiscent of the ship route. It was once a symbol of economic revival after World War I. Some little touch of the creativity can be found on the street. From this center to this Madame statue. Hamburger, I mean the Hamburg citizens, not in Hamburger. They maintain the historical buildings really well. From the old church to some statues on the street. Like the old warehouse district spikes that. They look still charming on the outside. And actually are still in use as the warehouse. Or the office. Or restaurants. Or as a maritime museum. Another historical landmark is Anser Car Garden, which is an attractive shopping area overlooking Hamburg's waterways. Or like the town hall seen in 1890s. It looks gorgeous and eye-catching from far away. While not surprisingly, it is built to show Hamburg immense wealth and property. Hamburg City Hall's lobby is open to the public. The hall has a painted ceiling that depicts German merchant shipping. Besides being used for exhibition and concerts, it's still the seat of Hamburg's Parliament, Mayor and Senate. But the historical buildings go really well with the modern ones here in Hamburg. Like the train stations, the combination of the old outside and modern inside really match. The same to the other indoors of several buildings that are very nice as well. Not only the indoor, Hamburg features also the modern outdoor architecture, like this Marco Polo Tower, or like this concert hall by the harbor. Elva Harmony has been completed recently in 2016. It's enormous, so we could see it from far away. Hamburg is also very close to the nature. It's very obvious as it's built as born is built by the Elbe, which is a famous German river flows to the North Sea. Several activities have been organized on the old cruises. I mean, beside the exploration and business activities,
beside, Hamburg is a beautiful city with many parks, many lakes, and with plenty canals, rivers throughout and around the city. Not just that, Hamburg is very green in most of its corner. Life in Hamburg is calm but vibrant. The resident district is green and very calm. We can easily imagine that we could enjoy the morning coffee on the balcony or we could cook during the weekend if we live in Hamburg. By the way, it was what we did in our friend's house. Then we could go out for a bubble tea by the Anster Lake nearby. The sky is blue and high with candy clouds. Or even we can just sit inside, have a beer, and look at the spiked star. But if we want, we can go to Strangsen Viertel district to hang out. It's kind of the control center in Hamburg with street acts endless restaurants and bars. We followed our friend to Andes Mansion. It provides nice and very chilling ambience. We tried different craft beers and food. The central station is also crowded with several shops. And we could recommend trying the curry goods in front of the station. But there are also quiet districts where we can enjoy the silence in the natural sounds. We could highly recommend you visiting Hamburg. If you had a chance staying here for a while, it could be even better. We think so. And don't hesitate. The public transport here works well. And English is easily used here for most of the daily conversations. 